you again? Forehead. Forehead. Okay, um, yeah, welcome to another Learning 2 video. Um, today we're at Barhead Skate Park in Glasgow. Um, came here pretty much one thing, and that's the mani pad behind me. So today it's another Learning 2 video, and the video today will be learning to ollie onto a mani pad and hopefully manage to get ollie into manual and then off the, the pad again. Um, ollie's been pretty good recently. New boards, I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's a lot heavier than the last one, I think, or it feels heavier at least. So, it's only my second time, the weather's been awful, you can tell by the rain on the floor here. The weather's been really bad, so it's literally dried up for like three hours. So we're taking us three hours to come out and try and get this. Uh, I might not get a manual, but hopefully I can get all the way onto it. So, yeah, here we go, first try. Let's go. First try, I'll take it quite slow, see how it feels. Got onto it, just couldn't slide it up. Okay, I'm still it. Too slow. Maybe like one more push. Hey! <laughs> okay. So it took three times to get onto the pad, um, which I kind of knew I could do because like it's really not that high. Um, it's just a fear, like going all the way onto something that's not a curb or just like just thin air. It's uh, a yeah, whole mentality thing, but. Yeah, pretty happy I did that in three times, so we'll try to get a few more and then move on to trying to do manuals over it as well. These are really wet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, try four. Oops. Very sketchy, but I got onto it. <laughs> so upsetting, my brand new lovely magenta skateboard has been already covered in mud and, and water, so. I'll have to get one of those like grip cleaners. If anyone's used one in the comments, tell me if they actually are any good or they're not good at all. <laughs> Three more attempts to get a decent ollie onto it again, or I'll have to drop you on that at the end of the video. Uh, what about that one? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do that. It's <laughs> so much bigger than the last one. Um, three of three. What a sweet, sweet day. It's good to be home. Got on it. You know what? I might still do it. I'm going to call that and say that was an alright Ollie onto the box. I'll look at that and see how I feel at the end of the video. And if I don't do it today in this video, I'll come back and do it. I don't know, in a week's time when I feel a bit more confident. Boo. Drop it, it's not so slippy. <laughs> Jumper's coming off. But the ginger hair is staying under the cap. <laughs> Woo! Let's just go for it. Yeah. I'm getting it always like 40% of the time. <laughs> it's just very high, but I'll, uh, I'll just try a manual and see how, see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? One of my last videos that speeds your friend, and I feel if I don't try that a roll into the ollie to actually get more speed, I'm lying to myself. So, yeah, we'll try that. It's quite close. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's going so slow, I can't seem to work out the best way to come at it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Manual, I really do. Yeah, just try a few manuals. Cool. Oh, I'm not getting a few. 
You'll get there. I just sat on the wettest part of the rail and got a really wet arse. So if I don't get it, I'm blaming the wet arse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, these Route 1 trucks are a day. But like, I don't know if anyone else has any issues with them. Or has them, but like, they kind of lean to one side if you kind of put pressure on them, they kind of stick it. Like, stick on one side, you kind of got to move them back yourself. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that was close. We're gonna manage to get an ollie into manual the whole pad, but we're gonna do a little, a little ollie into a little manual. I'll be happy. I'll take it. I think for now. It's only what, like been two months, so that's my excuse. <laughs> I just find the right balance of like foot positioning for the ollie suddenly it's like a stable foot position for the manual that you can like hold it I'm not very good at holding manuals at the best of times to be honest maybe this is being a bit too a bit too optimistic and challenging himself a bit too hard um, yeah we'll keep trying for now Sarah's got some analysis of what she thinks I'm doing wrong so tell the camera so what's he doing he's coming up and he's lifting off and then he's getting on and then it's stopping like that, then kind of like leaning forward to get it back on. Uh huh. You need to just get it all the way on because it would be really hard to get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the like, Sarah. More from you later, yeah? yeah. <laughs> nice. Ooh! <laughs> New tricks. So we're back in the car after that session. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. Um, I think like, I think I sent the video. Ollieing into thin air or just like over nothing is so much less scary than doing it on something. So I'm happy that I managed to ollie onto the mani pad. Like it wasn't that big, it was like a, just bigger than the curb, but even still, I know I can do it. Yeah. Got a wee manual at the end there, but not like straight from the ollie, just a little bit off onto it. Um, Good progression. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, um, sorry it's not the most successful video you've probably seen. Um, but I'm a beginner, I'm still learning. Um, yeah, I'll probably come back and go try it again in like a week or two. So we'll call this video part one. I'll see the next one's part two. And if I do manage to get it in part two, I promise I'll drop in. Not the really big one, the Slightly bigger one. I'll bring a helmet too. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, please leave comments, like leave tips. Tell me what I'm doing wrong about ollie into manual because I can't even work it out the positioning and like leaning back and stuff and leaning forward. So if anyone knows and has any tips, yeah, leave a comment and um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.